Hey friends, Kitty, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be more vlog style, like my vlogs are my vlog channel, but this is going to be going up on my main channel. And yeah, this is very long awaited. I'm gonna be doing another acne update or acne vlog, whatever you wanna call this. And yeah, it has come. So I'm gonna kind of update you on my acne and then also tell you what is to come. And yeah, this is gonna be a more chatty kind of vlog style video, but I hope you enjoy it and everything and before I get started if you haven't seen my last acne vlog be sure to check that out I will have it linked up above so yeah definitely check that out and yeah let's just get right into it so this is my acne is at its current state everything I feel like it looks worse on camera but it isn't like perfect obviously in person and this is what it's looking like and yes I did cut my hair and everything just cut it yesterday and I'm obsessed with it I feel like this is gonna be my go-to style. Just pointed that out. And yes, this is my acne. This is everything. I have a little bit on here and it's actually not too bad on my back or my chest. So that's, I guess, a plus. Okay, so now I just sat you down just because I don't wanna hold the camera for like forever, but I'll give you a quick overview of everything. I had a little bit of acne as a teenager, like the typical teenager acne. I used like, just regular stuff like used proactive I've used cleaning clay or stuff like that and I was able to control my acne for a very long time but then when I was I believe 20 maybe 20 one, no, I was 20. My acne started like getting worse. I thought it was an allergic reaction to a product. I think that really started my bad acne. My skin just got worse and I talked more in depth in that video on it and everything. And that's kind of like my acne story. That's not what this video is going to be. So I don't know if I said this in my other video, but when I went to the doctor, I was prescribed a couple of medications. I believe I talked about this in that video and I took the, um, my cyclin for three months and it did help my skin a little bit but definitely wasn't like a miracle product for me the thing I feel like really worked was birth control being on a birth control and I've been on birth control for I want to say like six months I'm not actually sure but I've been on it for a while so I feel like it's really been working for me but I do need something that's gonna really clear it up so that's why the today I'm gonna have my Accutane consultation or my Accutane appointment with the doctor at the doctors I go to I don't know I've been thinking about like oh is it better to go to dermatologist but the doctors in my practice are trained to prescribe Accutane but also it's a nerve-wracking thing if you think about it because like I've been nervous about this appointment I've also been excited about it because I could be clearing up my skin but I'm nervous about it just because I'm concerned that they'll look at me and be like okay I'm just gonna prescri prescribe your eye today my skin is getting better so I'm kind of wondering like should I should I not take Accutane. Is it not the best course of treatment for me? And I've done tons of research, watched so many like people's experiences on Accutane, like on YouTube, like the, like all the vlogs, all the Accutane vlogs. And if I do go on Accutane, I will be doing those. It's just nerve wracking knowing if you're going to do the right thing, if they're going to give you good advice, which I assume if they're trained in Accutane, they will. But like, I don't know, like I'm just really nervous about it, but I feel like going out Accutane is the right thing to do or just the right decision for me to do is more like the way to say it but yeah it's kind of nerve-wracking like I said it's just like hmm but yeah I've done my research I know kind of the things that you know go on in Accutane and it's gonna be you know it's gonna be an experience for sure and you know um it's all for clearing up my skin to get rid of my acne and to boost up my confidence. I am a pretty confident person. I've become that like over years, but it would just be great to not have to wear makeup to class or like to not have to put on face makeup. Like it, that would be nice. So I just have to work to this and you know, acting is kind of that next step for me. And yeah, I'll 
probably update you like a little bit later on how my appointment went and stuff like that. Whether if I am prescribed Accutane today or I'm not, um, let me know down below like your Accutane experiences. If you have gone on Accutane, I am very curious and I just want to hear everything. I've done billions of research, like I said, but I would just love for you to kind of, you know, tell me that, tell me your experiences and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I will kind of update you how the appointment went later. I guess we'll see how it goes. So yeah, I will talk to you later. Hey, friends, so I'm sitting outside right now just so I can update you and everything. So I got back from my appointment went out that long ago and it went better than I thought it would like honestly I didn't expect it to go this well I didn't expect it to like all happen like this I don't know how to explain it but it's definitely different than I thought it was gonna be and yeah I'm sitting outside I'm sure you already t told that because because I'm obviously outside but yeah appointment went a lot better than I thought it would and honestly was more positive than I thought it would basically the doctor told me that Epteen was the best option for me that that's where I am because my acne is pretty severe and honestly I don't see myself as having super severe acne but yeah it's definitely like that and basically it was it's not even that complicated to explain like basically I'm going on action I got my good old blood test and that's my first blood test then I'm coming back in, in a month getting a blood test and then I have to get blood tests like every two weeks or something like that so that's that and yeah so basically I have to take two tests to prove I'm not pregnant because you obviously can't be pregnant on Accutane. Then once I do those I'm good to go and I can start Accutane so I probably won't start for like a month or so but the appointment definitely went well. Cooper is trying to say hello and so is Scotty. Um, but yeah that's pretty much it. There's not really much complex things to do. Basically via an Accutane all I have to pretty much say is that I'm on birth control is one form because you have to be on two form birth control. So birth control is one form and then abstinence is another. And I'm just like, don't you don't have to worry about that. Like I pretty much only have time for myself. I'm a busy girl. <laughs> and you know, that's what I said. And yeah, so basically I feel very good about everything. And I don't know if I'm gonna post this as soon as I said I was. I might just have a little bit of a life update for you. But yeah, that's kind of how it went. It went a lot better than I thought it would. And so yeah, my first acne blog or Accutane blog, whatever you want to call it, will probably go up maybe next month sometime. I'm not really sure when, but definitely follow me on social media. I'll update there. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. That's pretty much all I have to say. If I have anything more to say, I'll add it in. But yeah, I think that's it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Like I said before, leave your stories down below. Love to hear about them. And just any information or advice you can give me, leave that down below. And please subscribe if you haven't already because I post videos every single Friday. And yeah, I will see you in the next one of these. Bye.